This is an article in AJ, which I assume stands for Architecture, Architecture Journal, and it announces, and this is on the 23rd of January, Scottish Government puts two-year freeze on all major NHS projects. And the reason for that, which I'm showing you in a tweet from the Times, Ministers claim the freeze came as a result of UK Treasury decisions to cut the Scottish Government's capital budget for the next five years. So it's all the fault of the Westminster Government. Or is it? More of that after this. I'm Granny Opterix. I'm interrupting to remind you to click like and to subscribe and share. Also, I'm constantly being told that YouTube removes subscriptions. So please click the notification bell and check that you really are subscribed. All the links to my other channels are in the description, including links to donation sites. I'm always grateful, of course, for donations. But simply clicking like is the best thing you can do for this video and my channel generally. Generally. Thank you. OK, so here it says ministers claim the freeze came as a result of UK Treasury decisions to cut the Scottish Government's capital budget for the next five years. Latest figures for December, this is another figure, showed the number of Scots waiting longer than the target time in accident and emergency was the second highest on record. So this means, first of all, that the Scots aren't getting the infrastructure that they need and secondly they're not getting the treatment they need and the Scottish government is saying this is all because the Westminster government has cut their funds. I wonder if it's got something to do with this. This is an article in the Times. Hamza Yusuf's government offered to send NHS supplies to Gaza. Civil servants contacted the UN Relief Agency to offer medical equipment to casualties of the Israel-Hamas war. Which means that whatever budget Scotland is getting, whether they're spending it correctly or not, they're sending some of it, or trying to send some of it, to Gaza which is a black hole of aid of whatever description. Hamza Yusuf's officials offered to send NHS medical supplies to Gaza. Civil servants contacted the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, the United Nations Relief and Word Works Agency, which is an organisation demonstrated to have actually assisted Hamas in its invasion of Israel in its kidnapping of Israeli citizens and in its education of children. In, in it, no, not education of children. In its warping of children's minds to teach them that there is no grown-up universe to which they could aspire more important or necessary than dying in a, you know, with a suicide vest around you. That's Yun UNRWA, and this is what Hamza Yusuf's officials want to send NHS supplies to, robbing Scottish citizens of their birthright and what they're paying tax for. So uh, the civil servants contacted the uh, UNRWA, uh, which looks after the welfare of Palestinians in Gaza. No, it doesn't look after the welfare of Palestinians in Gaza. It props up Hamas, which cares not a bean for the welfare of Palestinians, where one of the Hamas spokesmen said in a television interview, no, we're staying in our tunnels underground. The citizens who are getting bombed, uh, they're not our responsibility. They're the UN's responsibility. This is... Hamas's famous um, humanitarianism. An email from an official in the International Division of the Scottish Government. The International Division. You've got ideas above your station, mate. 
and I'm referring to the SNP, by the way, not every Scot, obviously. There are many Scots who I am sure are quite disgusted by this, especially when they're sitting there five hours waiting for a cut to be dealt with in their local hospital. Um, an email from an official in the International Division of the Scottish Government who contacted UNRWA on December the 7th said, we've been fielding a number of requests and offers from the stakeholders in Scotland. Stakeholders. Yeah, the only stake that we need is somebody to put it through the heart of the SNP so that it can stay dead. And I have been asked to explore the possibility of sending NHS medical supplies to Gaza. Right, uh, let me just remind you of this. All the, the ministers, uh, Scottish ministers, claim that the freeze is the result of UK Treasury decisions to cut the Scottish Government's capital budget, and that's probably because they're wasting their money on woke issues. Latest figures for December show the number of Scots waiting longer uh, than the target time in A&E, and it's the second highest on record. The, ex the exchanges had to be worked out using the freedom of information laws because everything's being hidden from the local Scots and anybody, actually. And this took place weeks before the allegations that members of UNRWA were involved in the October 7th attacks. Involved is hardly the word I describe it. They appeared to be the second main driver. And Humza Yusuf says, to be clear, Scottish Government has not paused or withdrawn aid to UNRWA. We have previously provided as much as we can within our financial constraints. So it means that they have been giving money to UNRWA all the time, taking it from the Scots. I hope you Scottish people appreciate that. And the ones who voted SNP because you hate the English more than you love Scotland, this is where you are going. Your funds are going overseas to fund the lifestyle of the head of Hamas in Qatar, just so you know, in their luxury hotels in Qatar. OK, well, yeah. Disgraceful. Till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like subscribe and share, share, share.